your show. Your people. Your voice. The High School of Art and Design newscast starts right now. Welcome, Welcome back. back. I'm Nehemiah. And I'm Evan. Uh, aren't you going to tell him your last name? O'Rourke. Okay, Irish last name. Are you excited for the upcoming ho Irish holiday, St. Paddy? Yes, but what's your last name? McFarlane. <gasps> We're Irish brothers! Let's go to our first segment. Let's. Hello, Art and Design. We're here with question of the day, and I have a question for you. What is the luckiest thing that has ever happened to you? The luckiest thing that's ever happened to me would definitely be meeting my girlfriend. She's very pretty, and she's like the best thing that could have ever happened to me, for sure. So what's the luckiest thing that has happened to you? This interview. Ah, uh, so let me think about this one's a toughie. All the colleges I got accepted into the last few days. <laughs> I won like a school lottery over my brother. Finding my meditation practice and my teachers in my community. <laughs> um, finding five bucks on the floor during the senior trip at Villa Roma. Getting into the school for one. <laughs> hey, I realized you're not wearing green. Uh, neither are you. Fair point. For a regular segment, Keeping Up With The Majors, we're gonna be trying something a little different this time. Where we go through one student's artistic journey. Today, we're gonna to be highlighting the work of photographer Hannah Ng. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Hannah Ng. I'm a senior high school photography major here at the High School of Art and Design. Before I enrolled here at the school, I was more of a traditional artist. I did a lot of drawings and watercolor paintings. My interest in photography started mainly at a program that I took during the summer, and that's why I chose to be in photography in my first year. So for our AP project, which means advanced placement, we had to create a series of works under one theme. For my project, I wanted to visualize my inner insecurities and pressures through photography and traditional art. In my piece, Welchmerts, I took a self-portrait of myself crouching down on the ground. I also added some text about how in public, I wear a smile and act positive, but internally, I'm feeling the exact opposite. I also added an illustration on top where I was crying to further convey the feelings that I couldn't show in the photograph itself. In my piece, The Cracks Are Showing, I took a portrait of a little broken dish along with my hands, and I drew on top some tears and little like shaking effects. I also added some text on top talking about how my, my flaws are basically surfacing. In my piece, Mom, meaning heart in Korean, I took a picture of myself holding a shattered dish, and on top I drew an illustration representing my inner self, where I'm hugging in my knees, because I feel like I'm disappointing my friends, disappointing my family, and worse, disappointing myself. And in this process of creating my portfolio, it lifted a weight off my shoulders, and I was able to express the feelings that I've been internalizing, and I'm very thankful that I got to share this work with you. Thank you, Hannah, for sharing your beautiful work. It was very moving, and we appreciate it. And now, on to the art reel. Another amazing art reel. We have two major announcements. First, our school's very own Comic-Con, Fanfare, will be on April 6th and 7th, and will be from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's a major event with hundreds of people attending, and we hope to see you there. 
And next, Build This Show, an event by the Major League coming to our very own Sky Gallery on March 26th from 4 to 5.30. The event will run until April 6th, and I hope to see you there. And that's it for this newscast. Make sure to like, share, comment, share, like, and subscribe. It's like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. See you next time. Bye.